Hello, welcome back again. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create this uh, a little motion graphics text animation thing that we showed to you in our uh, last video that we uploaded as a preview. So today we're going to look at how to create that. So here are some of the things that we're going to look at. So first, let's go through this animation to see what we're going to create. So this is the first uh, color clip that we're going to add. And then we have this other color clip. And then we have this other color clip. We have the text. And you can see this little dot, black dot here. That's the one that is going to come here. And then, so you see this little dot? That's the final save that we're going to create. So let's get started. So here we have, uh, this is what we're going to do now. The first thing we need to do is to create the color clip, the background. Let's add the color background, the color clip here. You can add your own background if you want to. And then click OK. In the clip properties here, we just want to change the color to a different color. And then click OK. To the project bin, let's bring this to video track 1 because that's the background. The second one, we want to create another color clip again. And this time, we change color to a different color. Bring this on top of video track 2. And we're going to create another solid color clip again. And let's change the color to a different color. And then click OK. And bring this on top to video track 3. So now that we have all these three different uh, solid clip on the timeline, now it's time to create the saves. So we know the first one is the background, which we won't do anything. The second one is the other save that's going to be a circle that's going to be somewhere here. And then the other one will be somewhere around here. So there are two effects that we're going to use. One is the transform. Another one is crop by padding. Here, I have already added this to my favorites. Here's how you can do that. You go to one of the effects that you always use and you do a right click and then add to favorites. Okay, so let's go back to favorites here and we want to do that for the green. So let's select the green and then go to crop by padding and just drop it into the effects panel here. So once you apply the crop by padding, you can see these handles here, which you can just grab onto and move it to any location that you want to. But for now, we don't want to do that. We want to use the radius. So in the radius, we just make a nice oval shape, something like this. But then we want a circle. So from this side or from this side, just click and drag it in so you can make a nice circle. So you can see I'm making it a halfway like this. And something like that. Or you can just create until you have a nice circle like that. Now you see this red X here. Grab it and bring it down like this. Now let's do the same for the pinky. In the pink, let's select that and then drop crop by padding. Again, we want to do the same. Come to the radius and crank this up all the way. And you have this oval shape. Then simply grab that and push it in until you have another nice circle again like that. Now grab onto the center here or just click on anywhere and you can bring it up like that. Now we're going to resize this. So to do that, let's apply the transform. Select the transform and put it in. Now this is what we want to do just to increase the size. If we use the crop by padding here, it's not going to create the perfect uh, circle that we want. So we are using the transform. In the scale, we just crank it up. And you can see we're increasing something like that. Just grab it, bring it in like this until you have something like that. Now let's do the same for the pink color clip. Apply the transform, crank up the scale, something like that. Grab it and place it somewhere here. You can reduce the size. So that's what we have now. We can do something like this. So we have this now. The next thing is to create this little save inside. So one of these, we have to create the transparent. That means this one, we want to create the transparent so it can have the different deep color when it goes through this other save here. 
So to do that, let's go to the effects panel and type in here transparent. And now we want to apply that to the green color. So let's select the gr green clip, minimize the crop by padding, transform, and then go to the transparency and apply that in. And this is what we have now. So now let's select the green, set the transparency effects, and apply to the green. So now we can select the green and we have the transparent here and we just crank this one until you see it makes that nice little save in here with that we can now add the text so we go to the project create a text and we can type that in and for this purpose i'm going to use this big one here or you can just change the saves to 150 to fit it in something here you can do a double text put one here and then add another one again underneath now let's apply a little bit of shadow by coming to the shadow here increase this by 10 and do the same for the other one shadow increase by 10 so you can see we have a nice uh, text shadow there and then let's click on create title now let's bring this to video track 4 and the final thing is we want to have this little uh, black dot that runs from here and then it increase so that's the final save we're gonna add right click add your clip change this to black it can be any color now click ok drag this and place it on the final video track so you should have five video tracks okay so once we have that again go to your effects and in my favorites you should have it uh, somewhere there in the video effects you have to set for crop by padding i already have it here so i just go in here and select crop by padding and put it on now what i want to do is uh, decrease this down so first of all in the radius let's bring this up like that and then from here i just bring it like that and then from the corner just bring it like that and then bring it somewhere in until you have a nice dot like that so it's gonna run out here see it's a little bit bigger a little bit more in something like that okay so this is what we have this little dot here or the black shape here what happens it's gonna be from here and running in here and then it expand increasing in size to cover up the whole thing so this is the first part of the video in the second part we're going to animate this thank you again for watching make sure to check out the second part